respect for the individual. This is key. Individual liberty, individual property rights, unalienable rights, God-given. There it is in our founding document, the Declaration of Independence. Natural law, the law of nature. This is so crucial. You cannot have freedom if you don't respect the sovereignty of the individual, each of us as individual human beings. Otherwise, you have these horrendous totalitarian regimes, these centralized powers with iron fists. Mark, why are you getting into this? I'll tell you why is a rabid Marxist scholar who embraces it, or she's a blithering idiot. But either way, as President of the United States, she would push this agenda because we know Joe Biden has through executive orders. When you keep talking about equity as the end game, equity is the end game, that's about dehumanizing the individual. This is what totalitarian regimes do. Equity, we got to get to the end game. Everybody's the same. That's the Khmer Rouge. That is, that is, that is mal. That is sick. So uh, I want you to listen to this. This is Kamala Harris uh, explaining her totalitarian ideology, which is pure Marxism. Not from me. It has to be about a goal of saying everybody should end up in the same place. And since we didn't start in the same place, some folks might need more. Equitable distribution. But we also need to fight for equity, understanding not everyone starts out at the same place. So there's a big difference between equality and equity. Equality suggests often everybody should get the same thing. It's not. That often assumes everybody started out in the same place. Nobody is. As opposed to equity, which is everyone should end up in the same place. And if you then understand not everybody started out in the same place, you understand some people need more. So we all end up in the same place. So we all proud of the fact that equity is one of our guiding principles. Proud of the fact that we understand equality is important, but not everybody starts out on the same base. We see that people in our country are having an experience that is not equal. So when we talk about the work we are doing here together, it is recognizing that and being guided by this principle of what we must do in the spirit and in the interest of equity. To put equity firmly at the center of our economic policy. It goes on. Does not believe in capitalism. She does not believe in freedom. She does not believe in the Declaration and the Constitution. She views human nature as something that the government is to control. Central government will determine equity. We're all supposed to end up in the same place. We all end up in the same place. And let's say we don't. Then what are you going to do?